Okay, it's been um, 10 minutes, and we're gonna, I turned on the oven to preheat, and then I um, already mixed this a little bit, but it was all foamy. And um, now we're gonna add the, oops, now we're gonna add the three and a half cups of flour. So I'm gonna get my big humongous mixing bowl. This is a four cup mixing bowl, so three and a half is right here. Two lines below this one. So three and a half cups of flour, one egg, which I'm going to put right in there, and then one and a half teaspoons of salt is I'm going to put in um, my flour. Because I don't think... I'll put it in right now. You can see me. This is my salt. There's half, there's another half, <laughs> there's the third half. So that's one and a half. I'm going to dig in my flour bowl. Flour bag. I have, I have a, um, I don't know, it's a 10 pound bag of flour. It's big, it's huge. More than that. Okay, my egg for my chicken. They gave me a huge one today. That's not the one I'm using. I like to eat the big ones. Eat them right up. Okay. Yeah, oh, you didn't even see that. I cracked it over there. Okay. You guys get left a lot. Maybe I should wear my GoPro. Okay, so the egg is in there. I'm gonna beat it up. And I'm gonna put my flour in. No, oh, I could have showed you that. So my flour's in there. Turn it on low, because if you turn it on high, it goes poof. Everywhere. Everywhere. And the goal for this weekend is cleaning the top of the fridge. It's a soft goal. I'm not making any promises. So I'm going to put in more flour. So, that's how that works. I'm just trying to mix it until the dough has come off the, the dough comes off the side. Okay, I'm calling that done. Now I'm gonna come over here. You still can't see anything. If I put these here, put them all on here. No, not really. Nope, can't see a thing. Anyway. Well, once my hands get doughy, you are just going to look at what you're looking at. Okay. So this is pretty sticky, but it's gluten-y because it's like, it's not really like, oh, it's kind of sticking on me, but it's kind of coming off me too. So this is good.
My oven is preheating. We have new pets. I haven't told you guys about them. I'm waiting to see if I like them or not. <laughs> But I guess it's too late, they're already here. Oh, okay. Let me get a little more flour in that. Okay, I got a little more flour in here. I'm gonna put it right in front of you. I got my dough over here. I'm gonna flour up my hands. And pretend that this isn't gonna stick everywhere. And then my pan is um, right in between the flour and so I'm going to make them um, this size. So I don't know what you call that. So they should fit three by four in here because you're making 12. Oops. And I'm going to put them all around the outside first because if I have small ones, then they should go on the inside. Or if a couple look really small, I'll just go ahead and put them on the, with them on the inside. Because, you know, the inside will get done last. That's how it works, right? <laughs> Don't ask me. Oh, it's too sticky. I mean, you wanted to stick on your hand a little bit because on this hand, because you're you're um you're going like this. You've got your hand flat, and then this hand goes over it like this, and that's how you're doing it. Because you want it to be like taut, like see the nice and taut. That's what you want. You want one that stands up. And you don't get that if there's no surface tension. It also works if you have clean counters. <laughs> and you um, just go like this in, on the counter in a circular motion. But I don't. I don't have clean counters. My, my kitchen is relatively clean. You would be so proud. But I haven't really cooked anything. <laughs> Isn't it funny how if you don't cook, then the mess doesn't come? Somebody was talking, who was it? Um, somebody was talking somewhere about a bad, bad penny or something. Like, they kept cleaning their house, but it was just a mess, and uh, they couldn't figure it out. And in their family, they had a superstition that if there was one was a messy bean or something on one messy item that was real out of place and as long as that one thing was out of place then your whole house would be continued to be out of place it would just keep messing up the whole house so and until you found it there's no point in cleaning anything else because but you never knew what it was so <laughs> the point of a messy house apparently one two three four I have four more is clean the whole entire thing. One foul soup. And then hopefully you get that one thing that's messed up. This worked out good. Sometimes this recipe, like you, it depends on the humidity and the, the flour and everything. But sometimes I get, you know, the bowls, they get really weird. Okay, there. So also we're having, we're having chicken soup, chicken noodle soup, chicken soup, because there's not that many noodles in it. Okay, let me, um, yeah, well, I'll just put this over back by the mixer.